and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. And it's another glorious, well, about to be morning. The sky is starting to light up, but we can still just barely see the stars. Here at the Moose Camp. Now, I am recording a few episodes ahead. Uh, episode 8 just released, like a day ago for me. And I... I noticed when people commented it's not moose camp it's mouse camp I've been saying it wrong the entire time but you know what screw it we're gonna keep this as uh, moose camp and we're gonna change this moose camp how about moose oh god I'm spelling it wrong moose camp there we go it is actually now moose, and now we have to change this uh, on this grid somehow. Do we have a control panel on this grid that I can access? Yes, no, maybe so. Can I sit in a seat? Ah, oh, that'll be good enough. Moose camp. There we go. And actually, uh, we'll just turn that antenna off. We don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> We've got our GPS. So, Moose Camp, properly rebranded. <laughs> We're going to stay with Moose, because that's what I've been saying this entire time. But, the plan for today is uh, we're going to get our little buddy over here, our little repair bot, Duder. Uh, well, there he is. Hey, Duder. How you doing? Oh, he's waving! Oh, he's so nice. We're going to get him working on this base. However, what we need to do is we need to connect the dropship to that base for him to register that it's something that he should work on. He only works on stuff that is, like, directly connected to the grid that is, uh, is there. Like, is connected to where his spawner is, which is this thing here. So, watch out, dude. What we're going to do is we do have that little um, connector, little butt plug here coming out the, the back of the ship. So, yeah, yeah hi. I'm trying to talk about what, we're, what I'm going to get you to do. Just go away. We could use this because it is right there. Alternatively, we do have some conveyorage access, or we do have our connector there in the center. Because I would eventually like this thing to be connectored up to this base. So what I could conceivably do is if I drop this tree, because it's kind of in the way, I could put a couple conveyors coming out from this top of this one, and put some, put a connector on there and land the ship right on top of it. And then the little guy can just fly up to the ship, fly down, build his little heart out. Uh, so I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to get this large ship plugged in so that our dude can do his work. Um, but uh, do I really want to deforest that? We, I, I think I can do it this way. We can just put a connector right here. Right? We can just go like this. Put a connector. And I think there would be enough room here for me to maneuver that ship into place. Maybe kill a couple of the tiny trees. Leave the big guy. And plug it into the base. I think that's a plan. I think that's what I'm going to do. So in the meantime, with my little dude here, we're going to recall him just so he's going to be in a safe location so we can come down here and we can go to our helper and we can go um, we'll store the selected helper and allow you to summon a new one use respawn to bring the stored helper back so we're going to store him and it is currently storing helper uh, which I don't know if he has to fly to it for a second or if there is he's all stored uh, looks like he is. So he's right in there, and we just have to hit respawn, and it'll pop back out. So that way, I just... I didn't want him to get run over. 
<laughs> it would be very sad if uh, I was flying my ship over there and he decided to pop up for a second and uh, get his ass run over. Uh, I'm just going to bring this a tiny bit further off the ground and slap the connector on the top. Actually, one more. So that way, in the future, when I want to do this temporarily, we're actually really easy to just pop a conveyor out da -da -da, da -da -da, into the top of this and get onto the conveyor system. And then, of course, in the future, I'll, I'll, I'll take this entire thing away. Uh, as you can see, I've already got the, the ships parked off to the side, so there shouldn't be anybody in the way to f fly this thing. And uh, we're going to take the big ship up once again. So, we're in. Our override gyro is on. We only have 35% fuel remaining because we've actually been running our engines. We're having to do that because we're just so low on power right now, which is going to be the other aspect of this episode. We have to see, whether it's going to be wind or solar, of what we're going to do here for power at this base. Alright, just going to prime my engines. Good. We're, we're running. Gyros are good. We're going to take off. Alright. Oh, I have no lights. I have no lights forward! <laughs> Very common mistake of me to not have any lights. This is this is kind of Joshi like classic. But we're gonna have to probably clonk a couple trees here with our front thrusters in order to get this maneuvered correctly. And I God, I can't see anything. All right. Just barely see the plug in there and the question is do I want to plug in with that part I won't have conveyor action conveyor access in the future I could very quickly here add a port somewhere else on this grid in order to give myself conveyor access all right let's land let's land real quick Let's rejigger my conveyor portage. And we'll put a tube, and then we'll go a couple back, and we'll connect it up. Easy peasy. Alright! Alright, now let's go plug this bad boy in. Alright, move slightly to my left. Gotta raise up ever so slightly. Backwards. Good. We got the magnetism. We can just let that settle for a second. We are not exactly level here, so I want to pull down as I move down in order to balance myself out a bit. This should be good enough. Park. <laughs> I love that. Space engineers physics, man. <laughs> this giant ship. Itty bitty connector. <laughs> and it lifts the whole thing. Okay, that is wonderful. So, I can clean that up in a minute. What I should be able to do now is go to my robo facility, go back, and respawn my repair bot. And there he is! Hey, dude! Oh, he's, now he's mapping. So he's mapping out his nodes. He's thinking like, okay, where do I gotta go now? What is my job? And he should pick up the fact that he's got all these blocks to work on. Oh, he's starting to move around. Is he looking for jobs to do? He's mapping out his world. Hi, dude. Or are you just following me? Uh, can you resume your job? Can you come over here and start working on stuff, dude? <laughs> I mean, theoretically, we are generating power now for uh, this grid, because we do have this one so uh, wind tower. <laughs> but, I mean, that's if I turned everything off. But he is flying around. He's starting to look for stuff. 
He's going down to the ground. You're gonna start. You're gonna start building soon. That guy's probably just still mapping out. Okay. So the other thing that I need to do now. Now he's gonna just build. He'll work on this base. He'll build it up, and then as he finishes up and builds these tanks and stuff, I can then go and design uh, the interior and such. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Did he start? Yeah, he started on this tank. All right, baby. <laughs> so he's just going to do his stuff now. But we need power. And now that this ship is plugged in, we just need power on this grid. But I need to do an experiment. I need to see how high up I need to be to get power. So we're just going to grab some interior plate, some steel plate. Uh, we are going to use columns because... It's going to be cheaper on the resources to do this, uh, but we're just going to very quickly, just from right here, do an experiment. We're just going to pop straight up because we're going to have to pop up pretty high here. Because if I want solar, I have to be above the trees. Or do I? I think I do. Uh, especially if I want to have the clearance of it. And probably it's going to look really freaking cool to have a solar panel sticking up above the tree tree line. So, <laughs> this is going to take a few columns. Just a few. God, we're still not there yet. <laughs> we're still not up there yet. Okay, finally, we've cleared the tree line. And now I want to see uh, what we can get for power generation up here. Let's just... Look at all of our power blocks, what we have for options. We, of course, have our different reactors. If we had uranium, I would instantly use that. We don't, so we're going to have to use renewables. We do have a solar. And if I get this high, I can put a, so put a solar tower up here. My solars will work at their peak efficiency, which is 160 uh, kilowatts. But... We also have the ability to get this 400 kilowatt twin blade turbines and such. We need 7 to 25 meters clearance off the ground and 6 to 20 meters on the sides. Optimal width speed is 80. So let's place one of these down up here and let's go get the resources for it. And oh my god, it's so far. Oh my god. God, that's a tall tower. Jeez, Christ. I can, like, base jump from my wind tower. <laughs> and I want to see if being all the way up here, above the tree line, gives me the power that I need. And it is spinning at a decent click. All right, let's go check. Let's just ow, hurt myself. Yeah. Wind. So we have the wind turbine that's down on the ground. 500, sorry, 55 kilowatts. Poor clearance. The one in the tree line is... Twenty-six kilowatts. That's it. Fifty-seven. Why? Why is its power so low? Ah, oh, god damn. Okay. It's this this is just This is just being mean to me. That's what it is. It's just mean. Oh my god, it's already built one of the tanks. I love you, Mr. Repair Bot. Okay. So I am gonna build a tower. Cause we're gonna need to do solar. Cause these Freaking wind turbines are not producing what I need. Yeah, 57 kilowatts. No. Like, I'm I'm using way more than that. So it's not like it's like, oh yeah, well, we don't need it right now, so we're not producing it. No, I'm producing way more than that currently. Yeah, we just hop our way down here, getting rid of this tower. So we will need a tower. I don't know if I want it exactly at that position. So we're going to figure that out right now. 
Okay. So we have to think about our power needs down here. We are going to have a series of H2O2 generators. These work with 750 kilowatts of power. So, if that's 750 kilowatts, we've got 750 divided by 160. I need 4.6. So with having additional, I'm going to need five solar panels per uh, H2O2 that I want to run. Good to know. So, if I want to run in this space, um, like 20 or so, because I'm thinking we can have uh, O2H2s like 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, break, 1, 2, 3. Oh, yeah, that'll work. So, we'll do 1, 2, 3, uh, archway, 1, 2, 3, archway, 1, 2, 3. They'll line up to that. So, it'll be... Uh, 9, 18, maybe a couple more across the back. Um, something like that. Let's say around 20. So, God, I'm going to need over 100 solar panels up there. Ugh. Okay. That, that's life. I'm going to need like 100 solar panels up at that, uh, that tower. And... There's no other way for me to do it except to just build it. So what I'm thinking is we're going to take the tower. Instead of putting it right on top of this particular building, we're going to move it from this perspective to the left a bit. And we'll take it back over there, maybe 100 meters away from the base, and then go all the way up to the top of the tower. Because then that way, the solar tower should be out of the way for me when I eventually have some landing platforms down here for me to uh, gain access to the base and uh, not have any worries about crashing into it. And I'm just going to grab some. Oh, Georgian. I guess we don't have any. Where are my bottles? Are all my bottles over here? Ah, bottle. Thank you, bottle. Uh, yeah, I'll take two bottle. Because why not? All right. So, coming out of the back of this building, dead center. Uh, this is pretty much ground level here, and we're just going to be raising up as we go back. All right, we're dead center. Yep. I think. Yes. Let's go back. Where can I go here? Oh, I can maybe get into this. Just trying to think. I'll go back this way till about here. How will this look straight up? I want to kind of come up between some trees here. I'm also going to get rid of this little one. Timber! Because there's this gap right here in the canopy. I want to come up right through there. So, it's just a little bit further here. Drop this back down. And sure, this could be our spot. So, we'll make this a little bit bigger. And we'll start a column up from right here. <laughs> God damn. This random pillar coming out of the forest is amazing. Okay, now I need this thing to keep going up even higher. Because I need it to be well and clear of the forest. So that I can have a fairly large solar panel array on it. So right now we are what? Like forest canopy height is like here. So it's like. Hmm. 
Oh my god, it's like 40 something blocks higher. Okay, yeah. We have so much space now. Uh, plop. I gotta see what this looks like on the spectator camera. <laughs> This is giant just pillar outside of the forest. Oh, that's beautiful. Because we are going to build, like, this This is going to be an array with, like, 200 solar panels. So, like, eventually. So it needs to have space to grow. Um, all right. Ah, screw it. Let's go a little bit higher. <laughs> Why not? It's not like I'm going to be, like wanting for resources on this planet. There's an entire mountain of iron that I can go and turn into stuff for this. And of course, we are going to need our rotor and our hinge. And eh, we don't need it to be. We just read a basic rotor. And we'll do our hinge. And then we'll do our Lock. And that's gonna fall down. Cool. <laughs> well, let's get this thing built up. Yeet myself back into the darkness. Alright, I got all the pieces. Now we need to get a programmable. Which, I'll get a cool programmable. I'll just get into a normal programmable. And at the base of it, we'll have a programmable block. And in this thing, we're going to go program. No, programmable. Okay, cut all that out. Not programmable. I keep thinking, I'm forgetting this with the custom turret controller now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally different block now. I thought that I would, my, for some reason, my mind just went back into like all those years ago with freaking solar tower scripts instead of just using a custom turret controller. All right, so now at the bottom here, we're going to plop down a custom turret controller. We're going to pop into it, and we're going to go solar controller. Oh, God, I can't spell. <laughs> uh... Cut this out. That's it. I think. Alright. Uh, yeah, Moose, one second here. <sighs> Reset myself. Calm down. So, down here at the bottom of the tower, we're going to have our custom tour controller. Solar controller. And we're going to set up our different things. We're just got one rotor, one hinge, one camera on the grid so far. But we're going to uh, name those in a moment. I can turn those velocities to one just so it's not whipping around. And we're going to always aim at sun. And the AI should be enabled. So, we pop back into spectator for a second. We should have... Uh, if the camera was built... Uh, that should be aiming at the sun. So let's go and finish off the building. And then this thing should just whip towards the sun. And it's working. We've got a solar tracker. Excellent. All right. So we can base jump back down to the custom tour controller. And we can go through. You can go to that hinge. And we can give it solar tower. Tower, if I can spell correctly. And we can grab that for that camera. That rotor. And uh, so that way we put in solar. 
We got everything for the solar tower. Yes! And we are tracking the sun. So all to do now is just build out solar panels, which I can just do that same uh, design that I did last time, where we're going to have... Uh, I think I just need steel plate for this, right? To lay it out, at least. We're going to use the light armor slopes. And we will slope down off of every side. And then from there, just head out with the uh, light armor half blocks. As we want to perfectly align to our colorable solar panels. Ah! Geronimo! <laughs> As we can just start laying them in. Like so. Now, we're going to need a hundred of these or more. Right? So, that's a lot. So, I want to have 25 or more in each quadrant. So, I'm going to really need to expand this out here. Uh, let's get this fallen debris. And we're also going to... Uh, uh, what am I? Just search solar. We're going to uh, rotor and hinge and tensor them. So they're not going to be jiggling around as I'm working on them. So. If we need 25 here. That's 5 by 5. It's a pretty big solar panel thing here. Because that's... So far, we've just done one, two, three, so four and five, and then one, two, three, four, and five. All right, but all four parts of it here. I, I think we can get this done. We will be able to use the pancake as well, because we could take off the drills on it and change around the front bits in order to put welders on it. And we can fly up just large quantities of resources and get these solar panels built up lickety-split. Let's just lay out the rest of this here. A couple more falling down. Hopefully they don't damage anything. Ah, they should miss. Alright. So that should be a hundred solar panels. Which was actually a pretty significant amount. Like, holy crap, this is a lot of solar panels. Um... All right, we should start building on them now. And I think what we can do is look into modifying the, uh, the pancake. And as you can see, I didn't enjoy having like very limited control the last time I was flying the pancake, so I added more gyros. <laughs> Just a few. Just a few more gyros. <laughs> I should just be able to cut this one off, and then they'll some... Yeah, other bits fall off, and I can just leave them there for now. Just fly over here, and... Oh god, it's got so much gyro now, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous! We will... Wait, can I hover? No. We are pitching. I can hover with my override, it seems. Okay. Weld! Oh, I gotta get rid of my front goddamn light bars. It's okay. We'll put those somewhere else. Uh, I am also going to slightly move these out. Just to make my life a little bit easier. 
just so I'm not having to scrape my cockpit against the whole thing at the same time as uh, trying to weld it up. It's built. That's built. Excellent. Uh, block tools. Welders. And we're going to come on down here. Hey, repair bot. Watch out. As long as they don't go fast, I won't hurt them. Okay. So, what we should be able to do now is oh how do I want to do this we just transfer stuff into my local storage or we could do the other thing that I did which was take the ship off hover it and then we just uh, grab materials for and place grab materials place and just repeat this until the uh the ship is full. Or I can't get any more materials out. <laughs> How many solar cells do I have on here? I still have a few hundred solar cells. Nice. Glad I prepared so many. Alright, let's see how this thing's storage is looking. And also, it's starting to list... It's half full. Uh, list you the other way a little bit. Put you like this. All right, let's keep going. Okay. Yeah, that's starting to rotate at a significant click now. I'm not gonna leave it like that. All right, let's go. All right, let's start in the bottom left here and uh, get to welding. I should, what I should be able to do here. Uh, we'll go welders. And we'll put that group on that as toggle on off, so I don't have to hold the button down. Yeah, baby. We're welding. All right. I mean, just bam, we're done a quarter of them. Oh, crap, this thing has so many gyros. Whoa, oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's being twitchy. It's being real twitchy. It's okay. Just hold still for a second. Don't move. much more stuff I've got left on here. See if I can get a few more solar panels done in time. Alright! So we have gotten... I mean, almost half of them built already. Like, damn, that was pretty good. And I haven't gone through all of my resources yet. And so, we're gonna head on back down and see what more resources I can get. Well, at least maybe that's good for now. I do have to build the tower, which is going to be an annoying part. That's going to be a bunch of internal um, interior plates and construction components. But it'll be cheaper iron-wise than building it up with armor plate. That's for sure. Ah, but let's just come in for a landing here. Our little repair bot's not doing anything, so I'll probably have to reset them. And we can just turn our dampeners off and just 
let our ship sit there. It's got six days of power when we're not flying. Hey, little dude. Uh, would you like me to reset you? Let's respawn my repair bot. There you go, dude. Yeah, he immediately went to a cargo container. He's like, I gotta go. I gotta get to work. Yeah, come on. Get to welding. There's other stuff over here to weld. Do your work. Do your job. I mean, I'm not paying you, but still, get to work. <laughs> All right. <laughs> let's, let's check the solar. So, we now have a bunch of solar panels putting out their maximum possible output. And so that means that... Oh, we're actually recharging. Oh, baby. We actually have input. And our input is good. 933 kilowatts. We got only got 103 out. So can I H2O2 gens on? Still recharged. Still recharged. We don't have that much ice left. But uh, we can fill up our bottles here. We have enough power to run at least six H2O2 generators right now. And we're recharging. Very good. So, even if we don't finish off the solar panel uh, today or even the next episode or whatever, we're still power positive during the day. Which means we can run our stuff and we can start to really refuel. The next major thing would be to build out this conveyor line going down all the way to the water, 750 meters down, which is going to take a lot of resources. But in the meantime, I think the, you know, we we'll wrap up this episode on this would be to run the conveyor edge for uh, this base as we're going to have to lay out the floor of this base a little bit of how we want our O2H shoes and stuff to sit in here and how we're going to want them to be conveyed up because we're probably going to punch right through here if I was not mistaken. Actually, yeah, we need to get rid of this one because it's right in the middle. We'll probably punch all the way through here, come up through the middle of this stuff to connect it up and run it along uh, underneath the floor. So... We need some interior plate as well. Grab some steel plate, grab some interior plate, and then get this thing uh, laid out. Take a look at my quick production here. Wait, did it already make all my solar panels I needed? Really? Damn, this thing made some solar panels quick. I was not expecting that. It's already made a thousand solar battles again. I could totally get that solar tower done this episode. <laughs> God. My assemblers on there are lickety split. Okay. Because we need to get this, this whole thing connected up. So, we're going to take this little cap off here. We'll put that back in the future. And my... Uh... <laughs> I'll get that interior plate in a second. We're going to go back, back... Uh, actually, no, back and then turn, then back. Uh, back, back. Turn this way, and then turn. But we need to grab that real quick and turn. So that'll connect us up through this. And then through the bottom of this, we're going to go... Let's do a hole junction. Because that'll give us some structural stability and we can do a tube and a tube a tube a tube and then a T tube going up into a junction back this way to here which will then be a probably a T Actually, probably be a whole junction. 
Because it's going to need to come back, and it'll have to go this way and come up into the floor for all of these H2O2s are going to be along here. Because they're going to be lining the walls like so. And I'm going to want a block here so that I can see in between these things. Or maybe I'll fill that in like this so that the walls are there. Which wouldn't be that bad. Could do that for the walls. Just bring the whole thing in a little bit. It would make life a little bit easier. Because now, all I have to do is... Uh, we will... Junction here. And then... Tube up. Then as we go along here, it's just... T's. Uh, except for this last one, which can be a, uh, a curve. And straights in between. And I can change those straights if I need to and put something else in there, but... I like that. I like that layout a lot. And everything's still accessible here, so I can, uh... I can weld it all up. And then... Coming in from here... Oh, is a really good question. You know what? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to... I, I want this to be underground. I want this to come in underground. I want this right here to plunge down a little bit. And go underground over to that thing. So I don't have this pipe going across the top. We're totally doing it like we did in Escape from Mars. So that means that it will connect into this at, like, here. At this point underground. But to do that, I'm going to need to connect this thing to the side of the wall somehow. So it doesn't plunge down and I lose the entire thing when I uh, slice that bit out. So I'm going to need to come all the way down here. And I'm going to have to build out some scaffolding. Which might be a good idea just to have that scaffolding here anyway in the future. Just to make sure that that thing is secured to the voxel down there. So, what I should be able to do is I should be able to slice out this pipe right here. Which is what? We are one, two, three, four, five. Five below the surface. And it doesn't fall. And I can put in a pipeline junction at this point, can't I? Oh, did that not reconnect? Oh, no. Did it not reconnect? Oh, that's so unfortunate. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Okay. Well. Oh, well. That's just... I'll I'll do redo that in the future. I'll rebuild that off camera. Uh, I'm going this way. So we can grab our drill and line ourselves up here and start drilling our way over, bringing over a little pipeline of ice. Make sure to cut out a little bit extra here on the side so that there is access so I can get down here and service the pipeline if I need to. Yeah, right here we can turn up. And that'll put us... Actually, we'll, we'll do one more forward, then we'll turn up. And that'll put us in line with that first set of blocks inside the hydrogen facility. So one more, and then we're going to dig out some more space here, and we will convey our curve straight upwards. Whoop, starting to see a little bit of grassy dirt. Hey, we popped out. 
<laughs> and popped out right there. We can then transition into some conveyorage and then just conveyor it over. And there we go. So much better than coming into the top like this. I mean, I think I'll leave a conveyor junction there, simply because, yeah, it looks good. But this also allows us, in the future, if we want to, we can branch off three different ways here to run our conveyorage. And it should work out. Um, so I do want to check here. I want to see if this is connected again. I want to hope... I want to hope and dream that that is actually connected. I don't have to rebuild the whole thing. Ooh, that actually looks connected. Okay, the real test is we're going to go to this control panel here. Do we have a collector on this grid? Yes, we do have a collector. Okay, it did connect. It did reconnect. Okay, that nah, makes me so happy. And also, this being nice and clean up here is so much better. And we can just drop down right beside here. Get access so that I can build this up. All right. We have got an underground pipe from our well here over to the hydrogen facility. And that's coming through underneath the tanks up into our large grid, which just needs access to that ice. And it should be able to produce all the fuel it needs because, because we now have solar. Although sadly, the sun has set on our region. Unfortunately, we are living beside a mountain and that kind of sucks because, uh, we are getting the shade, but it looks like these are, are we still getting power? Are we still getting power even though they have shade on them? If so, that's ridiculous. I'm very happy about that. We are still getting power. Yes. So, uh, uh who cares that the mountains are there? <laughs> We're still getting power, but I'm now power positive. I can, uh, I can just keep working on that solar tower, keep working on its uh, support beam that it has. Get that all built up. Um, I'm thinking of moving... He, he's, he's not doing very good. Uh, here, let's go to... Here. Because he's not... You're kind of glitched, aren't you? What I might have to do is I might have to recall him and then build a, a thing on this grid and allow him to uh, pull stuff from that grid instead. Because he seems to get confused. But that is alright. We will respawn him. And uh, hopefully he will take this time. You good? Go do some work. Yeah, go do some work. What are you looking at me for? Yeah, what, what have I hired you for? All right, but we have, oh God, we can start to see the stars again. Nighttime is approaching. Now that I can tell down here in the darkness of the forest, but we have done some good progress today. We are now power positive on the base. We are bringing in some wonderful power from our just ginormous solar tower. And we have made some progress on the uh, hydrogen facility. For the next episode, uh, before that, I'm going to just do a bunch of welding. Because... Uh, we need to get moving. We need to get this stuff built up. So I'm going to get that entire solar tower built completely. 
and I'm going to probably get his butt onto this grid so that he can just start working on this grid entirely. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and uh, good hunting out there, fellow space engineers. <laughs>